What's up, guys? Mike here, and if you're anything like me and you've got a Steam Deck, you've probably already went headfirst into rediscovering your Steam library. There's something magical about playing those PC classics in handheld mode, lying back on the couch or sneaking in a gaming session before bed. But what if you want to fire up your PC for some bigger screen fun without going through the hassle of using a mouse and keyboard? Enter the Steam Deck not just as a handheld gaming powerhouse, but as a fully functional controller for your PC. Yep, you heard that right. You can use your Steam Deck to control your PC games, giving you the best of both worlds. And guess what? It's not even some weird workaround or janky mod. Valve actually endorses this. Let me walk you through how to make your Steam Deck double as a controller for your PC. Trust me, once you try it, you might never want to reach for a regular controller again. If you are excited as we are about today's topic, show some love by liking and subscribing to Retro Pocket for more amazing content. It's official. Valve endorses this setup. First things first, let's get the official stuff out of the way. Yes, you can use your Steam Deck as a controller for your PC. And no, it's not some hack or obscure trick. Valve actually built this functionality into Steam Remote Play, so you can game on your PC using the Steam Deck's controls. It's like turning your handheld into a glorified Xbox controller, but cooler, because it's a Steam Deck. This setup works through Steam Remote Play, which in a nutshell allows you to stream games from your PC to another device, like the Steam Deck, on the same network. You won't be playing the game on the Steam Deck itself, you're streaming it from your PC while using the Steam Deck to control everything. It's a bit of a workaround, but it works surprisingly well, especially if you follow a few tips to optimize the experience. Getting everything ready, Steam Deck and PC setup. Before you start turning your Steam Deck into a sleek PC controller, you'll need to make sure both your PC and Steam Deck are on the same network. If you want to get fancy and reduce any chance of lag, you might want to connect your PC via Ethernet instead of Wi-Fi. The deck itself can stay on Wi-Fi no problem. Once that's sorted, we can jump into the details. Start by ensuring the game you want to play is installed on your PC. If it's a non-Steam game, you'll need to add it to your Steam library manually before this process will work. Open Steam on your PC and click on the Steam icon in the top left corner. From there, go to Settings and then navigate to the Remote Play tab. Here's where you need to make sure Remote Play is enabled. In this tab, you'll also want to check the box for Advanced Host Options and make sure the option to play audio on host is enabled. This sends the game's audio to your PC instead of your Steam Deck, which is key since your deck's screen will be doing nothing more than streaming the gameplay. Now jump over to your Steam Deck. Head into your Steam library, find the game you want to play, and instead of hitting play, select the small arrow next to it and choose Stream from PC. This tells your Steam Deck to act as a controller, streaming the game from your PC but letting you play using the deck's controls. Optimizing the experience, lower latency, better performance. All right, so you've got your Steam Deck acting as a controller, but now you're noticing a little bit of lag here and there. While Steam Remote Play works surprisingly well out of the box, it's not perfect, and you might want to tweak things to ensure the smoothest experience possible. Luckily, Valve has thought about this and built in some tools to help reduce latency. On your Steam Deck, head over to Settings and go into the Remote Play section. Here, you'll want to enable advanced streaming options, which gives you more control over how the deck handles streaming. To reduce latency, consider lowering the resolution and enabling low latency mode. This will sacrifice some visual fidelity, but since you're only using the deck as a controller, who cares about visuals, right? You're still playing on your PC's big beautiful screen, so it doesn't matter if the game looks a little rough on the deck's display. By lowering the resolution and enabling low latency mode, you should notice an improvement in input lag, making your Steam Deck feel even more responsive as a controller. Keep in mind that remote play works over your local network, so a lightning-fast internet connection isn't a requirement here. It's all about the connection between your Steam Deck and PC. How it feels to play with the Steam Deck as a controller. So, how does the Steam Deck stack up against your typical PC controller? Honestly, it's not bad at all. The controls are responsive, the buttons feel good, and you've got access to the same control schemes you'd use on the deck itself. It's especially great for games where you might not want to bother hooking up a dedicated controller. Think about all those quick, casual titles where a mouse and keyboard just feel like overkill. 
I've already used this setup to play games like Brotato and Cyberpunk 2077, and while it's not the same as having a purpose-built gaming controller in your hand, it works better than you might expect. The Steam Deck is comfy enough to hold for long sessions, and the ability to tweak performance settings ensures you don't run into annoying input lag. It's important to note that this isn't a perfect substitute for a traditional gaming controller. You're still streaming from your PC to your Steam Deck, and that adds a tiny bit of latency compared to using a wired controller. But if you're in a pinch and don't want to fork out for another gamepad, this setup works well enough to get the job done. Advanced Options for a True Controller Experience Now if you're looking for the most seamless native experience possible, there's another option that's a bit more involved, setting up a virtual here USB server. This lets you simulate a controller via the Steam Deck, making it function almost like a native Steam controller on your PC. The setup process is more complex and requires additional software, but it's worth exploring if you're the type who wants everything working flawlessly. That said, for most people, the remote play method I outlined above is more than sufficient. It gives you a way to use your Steam Deck as a controller without having to go through an elaborate setup or mess with additional software. And let's be honest, sometimes simplicity is best. If you've ever found yourself wishing you had a controller handy while sitting at your PC, this setup is a lifesaver. Using the Steam Deck as a controller might not be perfect, but it's a fantastic stopgap solution for those moments when you just want to kick back and enjoy some PC gaming without reaching for the keyboard and mouse. Sure, there are a few limitations, it's not as low latency as a dedicated controller, and you're technically streaming the game to your Steam Deck, but it works well enough that you won't mind. Plus, the ability to tweak latency and resolution settings ensures that you get the best possible experience without needing a lightning-fast internet connection. So, next time you want to play PC games but don't feel like grabbing a dedicated controller, just fire up Steam Remote Play, grab your Steam Deck, and enjoy the best of both worlds. You'll be surprised at how well it works, and you might even start to wonder why you'd ever need another controller again. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more awesome content. And hit that notification bell so you never miss an update.